Hello and welcome back to Dot Hack Quarantine. We kind of left it on a cliffhanger last time and have a part of a mission that we really need to go and finish. So uh, that's that's what we're going to go do. So without further ado, let's check the mail first. Because Black Rose has responded to us. The incident. Tell me only if you feel like it. Were you watching when your brother was in a coma? Yeah. I was watching from a distance. My brother told me to select some words, so I chose Hidden Forbidden Holy Ground. And the next thing you know, all those things just started happening. Huh. So her brother got zapped at Hidden Forbidden Holy Ground. Alright, into the world! We can't respond back to her or say anything. Logan. Probably have to do an inventory management thing. Hmm. All right. Oh, let's go. Items. Yeah, we're at 30. So we got some inventory management to do. I'm gonna go to do that. And I'll uh, be right back. And we are back. So I went ahead, did my inventory management, picked out the party that was going to be going with us to the next area. Uh, their equipment, not as great, because I decided to do inventory management first and sell off all the items that we earned from that area instead of going around and trading in order to get them better equipment because I didn't have them in my party at the time and I wasn't thinking about it. So this ought to be fun. Well, let's get going. Wordless, over to Graceful Attempting Fallen Angel. Pretty sure that's the one. Hopefully we find Good enough items for them on this area. It's level 76. It's high. Oh, there's a spring here. Uh, let's get our fairies orb out. Quite a lot of portals. So let's go take care of a portal. I guess we'll just do this one in front of us over here. And everybody needs skills. Actually, I don't know why I'm rushing ahead. My skills should just be this. Oh, maybe they paralyze. Use all of them. I like variety. 
what can I say? See, Greaves again. Alright, so we didn't really get too many good equipment items that I can throw in. A brute axe and a black axe, but we're not have a heavy axe on our team right now. And then we got Sea Greaves, which is great for Wave Masters. No Wave Masters on the team. So I'm gonna risk it and throw in Sorcery Swords, hoping that what will happen is it'll just get spit back to me with the uh, Golden Axe and Silver Axe. Let's see what happens. Sorcery Swords. Oh, it's Grandpa. Was it a golden axe you dropped? Or was it a silver axe? It was neither. What? Neither one? That is correct. Hmm. Let's see, then is it this? Maybe. Just between us. Oh. With a weapon of this level, there's nothing I can do. You don't say. You'll have to go to a spring. In a stronger server. Well, I never. In consolation, take this. I guess I will. See you later, alligator. He just get an after while crocodile that time. Silver axe, golden axe, and my sorcery sword's back. That's kind of the best case scenario in this scenario. I'm just gonna run to you over to the dungeon. Grunty flute. Let's go to the dungeon. Right in. Old trusty Aqua Grunty. All right, now that we're in here. is not a good idea. Oh my 
one level up. Very nice. Should I go through and clear this entire dungeon? I mean, now that they leveled up, they're higher level than what this field is. I think I just want to get to the boss. Let's get to the boss. Like I don't want to forward enough for you to be able to hit him. And there he goes. Yeah, so you get like 18 experience points. Mm. Hmm, I say to that. What's in here? Ooh, Aptroma. Magical accuracy now increases. See, I really can't find Invisible Egg now. It was a joke before, but now he's really not around. Invisible Egg. Uh, see you this time. Still collect the grunty food, even though we don't need it. They seem to have a pretty good evasion on. I'll just use some magic and get this done a lot sooner. Eight, thirteen, eh. Flight. A recovery drink. And the lovers. Whole lot of stuff that we are gonna use. Alright, fair as hell. I'm using the wrong ones. 
I thought they were darkness. Sixty-four for a heavy, and that's what he has. All right. They were sitting around like level 50, 60 armor. So, <clears throat> hopefully, we find something a little higher. Decent amount of experience fighting that thing. Invisible eggs. Golden egg. All right, let's see. Just gotta go down. Maybe one more. Maybe this is the last floor. But they're still doing pretty good. There we go. Everybody is been restrained. I'm going to uh, confusion. She probably would have just gone around over and attacked either of me or Walmart. Just get him. Just attack him. A hundred experience for those ones. Pretty good. Like we still have one more to go down. Twin blade, just not that strong. Trinity. Start casting spells. Got that hair trigger just on the ready. Sea greaves, don't need the full, don't need. Alright, 
go the wrong way. There is a warp. Alright, looks like this is the last one. Summon wood in the moon. Golden egg. Might as well. Is that a forest of fear? Is that a magic scroll? It is. Forest of fear. It's level three. Oh. It's just a big empty room, and I guess the next one's where we're gonna fight the thing. This is where we're gonna fight the thing. Let's strengthen up. Redeem. Let me redeem myself. And redeem the others, even though I'm pretty sure redeem. Gardenia's probably gonna die and lose all of the buffs. Ball mug may be like right behind redeem. her. And then I never asked. But why don't you guys use your strength and abilities? <laughs> Transform it into. So she's the wave. Was that a plant? It's a plant with eyes? She just turned inside out and have a lot of eyes? Is that her singing? It's a battle. It's a boss battle. Getting that Windows Media MP3 paper going. MP3. Not wallpaper, not not paper. That just the little the little effects that you would get from Windows Media Player back in the day. Phase six. The Temptress. Akna. So, uh, not the wave. Stay in the back here, let you guys handle this. You're doing great. Everyone, use your skills. Ah! <laughs> 
Let's use some of these, whoops, some of these scrolls. Forest of Fear. to get hit. Restorative 
but when healed them, they're just relying on pure attack alone because they have no SP and I don't feel like using items to bring their SP up. This is a plan that's working out just fine right here. Just need to make sure that when the Rikim is out that I use it. again. Her attack's another reason why it's good that I'm at a distance, because if I was close, I'd probably die. 
Another day to train. Ball monk again. She just likes picking on ball monk. standing here. We're not doing anything. There we go. Too far away. All right. Five. And resurrect Dania. Here goes Ball Monk. Well, I'm not able 
able to do a whole lot of attacks, but any little bit I can get in is always good. Data Drain. Let me guess, Bomb Monk? You gonna Data Trade Bomb Monk? He oh no, Gardania. I oh, change it up. Going for somebody new. Just took out Ball Mug too. That was double trouble right there. Just a little closer. Just a little closer. Oh, she's healing herself. Confusing doesn't always turn out to be as bad as like charm. Because confusion still has a chance of them hitting the monster. Oh my Amazon. Into particles you go. Temptress Mia. Who would have guessed the furry was a temptress? Then we broke her apart. Oh. oh. Wait a moment here. to save her. Mia. I 
know we didn't get to use you a lot in the game, but I feel like we had a connection. <laughs> just a lot of laugh we ate shit. That'd have been great. Data blasted away. Mia! What have you done to Mia? <laughs> Kicked her ass. Should have said it. it was great. Oh, Elk. Thank you. Now, particle the data dust. that vanished has returned. We're resuming the operation. Go back to Omega. Cruel, vindictive scars. Elk. Mia is. Just leave me alone! Yeah, she just said is. She just said was. Past tense. She's gone. God, and now it wants us to go back again? It'd be one thing if it's like, we've already been there, you can just teleport us right where we left off. But no, it wants me to go through the field and the dungeon again, just to get to the bottom. Let's go ahead and save it. It's gonna leave us at another cliffhanger. Folks, Mia was a traitor all along. She was an epitaph. Or, uh, I forget what they're called. She gave us something. What was it? It wasn't Harold's no, Was it one of the segments? No. Grunty virus cores, books. Oh, what the heck did she give us? Maybe it is segment. Uh, I think that's what we got with segment three. Uh, something for for Aura. Maybe it's all about bringing Aura back, which is what all those segments are for. But uh, yeah, I would love to continue going on from here, but I'm already over an hour with recording this, and I have to work in the morning. So uh, this is where we gotta end it. And we'll be picking it back up on Wednesday to finish, maybe, this uh, act. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen from this point. We'll, we'll just see what, what happens. But we'll be continuing from there. As long as I don't have to get any virus course, it'll be smooth sailing. Anyways, thank you all for watching. And I'll see you in the next game of Dot Hack Quarantine. Bye.